All right, we're here with uh, George Seifert at the uh, Barrier Sports Hall of Fame. How's this moment rank for you? I mean, is this a big deal to you? Being oh, yeah. It's, you? Yeah, it's, it's pretty huge, yeah. actually. Uh, I'm, you know, happy for my family and for the San Francisco 49ers and certainly myself having grown up in San Francisco and playing football here as a kid and all. So uh, to have this kind of come full circle is special. Especially being inducted with Dwight. Um, you know, we just saw you talking with him saying, you know, can you believe we're in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. And back in, you know, in the 80s, did you ever imagine you and Dwight would be inducted on the same day? You know, it's kind of... Well, I, yeah. I can't say that we even thought we'd be inducted. Yeah. I mean, in fact, I just shook his hand and mentioned that's the very same thing. Uh, the practices that we had, and, and I was coaching defensive backs at the time. He was a wide receiver, and, and his herking and jerking type running patterns. And uh, so it's a special time, and it's, it's exciting to have... Uh, uh, you know, Dwight going in and both of us being here and, and certainly with the others as well. And being able to see all these guys at these different events, I'm sure it's fun for you to be able to come out to Bay Area events, especially are you involved with any certain one or do you kind of just... No, you know, you know, just, you know actually I've been retired now for nine years yeah. and uh, and I love coaching, but uh, kind of love the, the ability to do so many other things now, which I do. And uh, so I, I, I'm really not that active and sort of to do something like this is special and to see all the former players and Carmen Policy and our owner Eddie DeBartolo, that's special. And when you watch Niners today, do you ever get that itch to go back on out on that sideline? Are you do you sit and yell at your T V when you're at home? Well I, you know when you get old you tend to yell at the news more than you yell yeah. at football games. So I I no, I, I I don't necessarily have a desire to go back. I loved it. It was a special period of my life. But uh, but I'm enjoying my, my time now. And anyone that's starting to coach, maybe, uh, you know, at the high school level or anyone starting out, what advice would you give to young players or even young aspiring coaches? Well, I, you know, the, the, it's like anything else. You, you have to put a lot of time into a, acquiring all of the knowledge that you can, and uh, and, and certainly you're going to be dealing with, with people and different personalities, and, uh, and, and you have to be the type that enjoys doing that. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and congratulations on thank your you. induction. Thank you.